This model is of an MAN TGS truck fitted with a large Liebherr concrete mixer and it comes in a standard Conrad branded box. As you often find with models like this there's no information about the real truck and there's no information for the model either with the assembly just limited to a few parts to be fitted. As usual with Conrad trucks the first job is some minor surgery to free up the aerials and mirrors for fitting to the cab. On the passenger side door mirror frame it's best to fit another mirror just onto that frame before you attach it to the door. With that bit of pre-assembly done it's just a simple matter to press the mirror into the preformed holes in the side of the cab. The fit is good enough so the mirrors don't drop out and this system does have one advantage which is that the mirrors don't get damaged within the packaging which they might do if they were permanently fixed to the model. The last piece of assembly is to fit the roof aerial and for this it's best to use something like a pair of tweezers so you can apply the right pressure and just push it into the hole in the roof. Underneath this is a fairly typical Conrad truck chassis, there's some good detailing on the rear axles, the steering at the front is fairly functional and not modelled for accuracy, but there's no drive shafts between the engine and the rear axles. The design of the wheels is smart with some good detail and different tyres are used on the steering and driven axles. The cab detailing is good but reasonably plain because this is a generic MAN truck model sold in the MAN shop so it's not in a company colour scheme and there's no number plates for example. The graphics are very limited but there is an MAN model number on the cab doors. On the side the metal chrome exhaust and fuel tank add a good look to the model. And the rear wheel arches are metal with a non-slip patterning and a spare chute extension on top. Looking at the back the lights are painted in various different colours. The mixer engine and water tank are both modelled in metal and there's a nice looking Liebherr name badge. The drum is metal and accounts for the fairly heavy weight of the model with just the black ring at the end being made of plastic. At the back the funnel and the chute are modelled in metal as is the access platform and ladder and they're not too fat for the scale. Time to give the truck a spin out on the test track, spin being the right word for a concrete mixer I suppose. It rolls well in a straight line and there is some suspension movement in the two driven axles but the third axle has some sprung suspension with little springs which is unusual for Conrad and that works really well. There is link steering on the front two axles but you can't turn the wheels too far without them snagging and there is also steering capability on the third axle. So you can pose the front three axles all turning which looks good on the display shelf but it doesn't really roll along because the tyres snag. There is another good feature on the third axle which is that it can be raised and clipped out of service and this would typically be used on the real truck for travelling when it's empty and that saves tyre wear. On the model you can just press down on the axle and it clips up so that when you roll the model the wheels on axle 3 don't turn. Because of the mechanism used unclipping the axle and returning the wheels to service is a little more tricky so you just need to ease it with a pair of tweezers or something and then it's back to how it was. Another feature of the model is the tilting cab and that works reasonably well and you can see that there's a metal engine underneath the cab. The tilting works well and the cab closes with a satisfying click. Moving to the business end the mixer drum turns smoothly although it's not completely free rolling. At the back there's a full range of sideways movement on the chute so you can display the mixer just travelling or you can open the chute out for discharge into a concrete pump or some other piece of equipment. This is another typically strong Conrad model, it's nearly all metal so it's relatively heavy. The features work well enough to make some interesting poses. And although the paint and graphics are fairly simple on this generic model, it's good enough to be recommended. Yeah. 